In this video, I want to go through phrases in a little more depth. By now, you should know that phrases usually consist of eight bars, and of course, in each bar, we have four beats. But how do we make it easy to identify a new phrase? Well, there's quite a few indicators that give it away. The first and most obvious is your waveform display. You can look at your waveform display, and wherever you see the height or color change significantly, that indicates that a new phrase is beginning. So let me give you an example. I've loaded the same track here on both decks, one with just a blue waveform, which you get on some older decks, and one with a colored waveform. Now, I've placed memory cues wherever a new phrase begins. And I want you to notice how there are dips in the waveform, the overview here, just before each new phrase comes in. So right here, there's a bit of a dip. Right here, there's a bit of a dip. And you can also see the density of the zoomed in part of the waveform lowers. And then it goes fully back in when the memory cue comes in. And another new phrase over here, where again, there's a little bit of a dip, especially on the overview of the waveform, just before the new phrase. Now, a second giveaway is the change in music. Now, this change can be as insignificant as a small sound effect, such as a crash cymbal, or as significant as a complete arrangement shift. I'm gonna show you an example of both. Now, in the first example, you're gonna notice just a small crash cymbal introducing the new phrase right where you see the memory cue pop up. So I'll start it from here and I want you to notice what happens in the music when the new phrase comes in. Let's begin. One, two, seven, eight, two, three, four. That right there was a brand new phrase. And as you may have noticed, there was a little crash-like sound effect. This is called a white noise sweep, and it was clearly audible right where the phrase came in. Also, if any of you picked this out, I've placed the memory cue here one beat too late. So that's something that, you know, even I can admit, sometimes mistakes can be made, but as long as you know how to read the waveform, you can easily pick it out and fix it. So I'm gonna delete this memory cue, rewind the track and cue it at the beginning of the phrase, and place a new memory cue there. So I'll play it once more from there just so you can hear that sound effect, that white noise sweep. Let's go. And that's it. Now I'm gonna take you to the part of the track where the change in arrangement is very significant. And therefore it's very obvious that a new phrase is starting. I want you to pay attention to the music, but also focus on the waveform and see what happens when a new phrase comes in both musically and visually. Let's go. One. Very significant change there. The buildup was getting thinner and thinner, and when the drop came in, it introduced all of the elements of the track. The bass, the vocals, the hi-hats, the snares, the kick drums, all of it. So those are great indicators that a new phrase is starting. Now, as you already know from previous videos, you should try to match your phrases when mixing. The way you can do this is by keeping count of where you are in your phrase. So if I know when bar one of the next phrase is coming, I can prepare my incoming track and begin playback the moment that phrase begins. Let me give you an example of this. What I'll do, I'll start playback on this track, one phrase before the drop. I'll know when bar one of the, sec of the first phrase of the drop is coming in, and that is the moment at which I'll press play on deck two. Let's go. Six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, one. And yes, I did utilize both the audio and the visual waveform to find out when the next phrase was starting. Seven. Eight, two, three, four, one. Now what happened is on both tracks, a new phrase started at the exact same time. In other words, my phrases are perfectly in sync. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, one. And what you may have noticed is that on both tracks, a new phrase started at the same time. Therefore, when the drop ended, the, in the breakdown started at the exact same time. And that is how you can use phrases correctly when you're mixing. Now, as a very final note, when putting this into practice, feel free to use both the waveform and the musical indicators to help you figure out when a new phrase begins. Also, remember to count the bars in the phrase whenever you're coming close to your next mix, as this will help you bring in your incoming track with the phrases in sync. So go ahead and practice this, and I'll see you in the next video.